So, you're a savvy marketer. You know that you shouldn't be sending emails to people until they opt in. And one of your sales reps was just on the phone with somebody and they do want to receive emails from you. So you're in Salesforce and you hit that button that says, yes, this contact wants to opt into our marketing messages. Great. But how's that going to get over to Active Campaign? What are we going to do about that to actually execute on sending out those emails? Well, that Salesforce opt-in is going to be the exact trigger that we're going to use when we're talking about the Salesforce subscription and welcome email automation. Super easy to get into your account and very, very helpful. So again, as soon as that opt-in turns on in Salesforce and comes over to Active Campaign, we can see that that is going to be a contact field that changes in Active Campaign as well. We can see it. We can see what happened in Salesforce and it can create an incredibly good experience for your customers, right? And make it a very, very easy process for your employees. So as soon as that toggle gets turned on in Salesforce again, then we can instantly get somebody onto a list. Now remember, we can only send emails to people that are on lists. So this is really good because now that we can add them over to that master list or whatever list that you select there, we can now send either one email that comes standard in the package here, or we can start to build out an email email sequence welcoming them to this great, great company that they just subscribed to. So now let's go ahead and slide over and hear from Rob on how to get this into our accounts. Hi, my name is Rob and I'm with the customer enablement team here at Active Campaign. I'm going to walk you through our Salesforce subscription and welcome automation recipe. To get started, our automation setup wizard makes this very easy. Hit get started over here on the right hand side. Next, we will choose the field that we are mapping the email opt-in in Salesforce into Active Campaign. For that field, I'm using a field called opt-in into marketing. Here, I don't really care what the beginning value is, but I want when that value moves to true, as in it's checked, I want this automation to trigger. Hit next. Next, we will choose what list we'd like our contacts to be subscribed to. I'll choose my customer list. Hit next. Now let's walk through what's happening. When our Salesforce contact or lead has opted in, that's going to then change this field in Active Campaign. That will trigger this automation, which will then immediately subscribe them to a list, my customer list here, and send them this email. This email can be tailored to your needs. You can add your branding to it and whatever information you would like inside of it. Then this automation ends. All we need to do to make this work is fill out this email and hit active and you are ready to go. Enjoy.